Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Come Again. Thrilled. Where all geek culture collides. I'm a head. <laughs> We're your hosts, I'm Shannon. I'm a head. This is John. This is our second time trying to film this because the first time we filmed it through my laptop. He doesn't know how to operate his camera. And no, 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 no. What happened was the audio wasn't recording. It recorded fine when I did our the reaction videos and all that. <laughs> I haven't messed with it since then, so I don't know why it wasn't turned on. But that's neither here nor there. Or down here. I can't help it, you're short, man. Your cell phone's rubber band do a tripod. Here, how's this? No, a little further. A little further. Get down there. <laughs> Open wide. Today, we're going to be going over book recommended reading. Again. Spawn Volume 1. Again. We're going to do recommended viewing. Again. Power Rangers The Zordon Era. Again. And tell us what toys you have to review today, John. We're, uh, I'm going to review the 1995 action figure Lion Ronin Warriors. Again. Again. Um, we don't have much news today, other than it's unlikely that Vin Diesel will play Black Bolt. But it has been revealed that we are getting an Inhumans TV series, as opposed to a movie. So. Um, this week on The Flash, The God of Speed was revealed I at the final that. episode or final I would be scene. bragging about that. Uh it was also get a woman. <laughs> I'm the god of speed. I bet you are. <laughs> um on Arrow it was revealed that Artemis is a double agent working with Prometheus. Um Legends of Tomorrow had Jonah Hex. It's also revealed that next week's episode of Legends, Malcolm Merlin will join the Legion of Doom. Meanwhile, let them leave you're not doing. <laughs> On November 28th, we have the four-episode crossover event, Supergirl, Arrow, Flash, and Legends of I Tomorrow. I really need to catch up. Uh, it's Heroes vs. Aliens, or Aliens vs. Heroes. Or Why what? is it Heroes vs.? I don't know. We want to see Heroes vs. Supervillain. <laughs> what the crap? That'll probably be the se season finale of all four. Whatever. That'd be a good season finale, though. I just wish... In, Made up with an arrow? I agree. No. Oh. I wish they would bring more than just Supergirl over from the alternate Earth. They need to bring Martian Manhunter over. They need to bring Miss Martian. They need to bring Guardian. And they need to bring uh, Monel. You know, in order to have the best team up ever, yeah. as Felicity says in the previews. I'm sure we're going to get another Justice Friends joke. <laughs> Not we justice need, friends. We need, we need a super we need, friends. We need a, we need a, we have, they call them, I think, justice friends in Smallville. They, no, they, they, said, they said the super friends. They, they said super yeah. friends still. Another super friends joke. Why not? We have to lead them to doom. And, and they, Flash made the same joke in the animated series, too. Yeah. So, we're, I'm sure it'll be thrown in there somewhere. Got to. Yeah. They, they could always call themselves the superpowers. <laughs> which one's Hulk Hogan and which one's the monster? That was the mega powers. Uh, I'm on a roll today. <laughs> See, uh, Undertaker returned to uh, SmackDown this past week. It was a very uneventful. Yeah. He just comes out there and goes, if you guys don't win Survivor Series, well, I'll beat you with my cane. I'll do something. I'll tell you I'm going <laughs> to do something and not show up. He's going to beat him with his cane. Don't worry, I'm thrilled every time the Undertaker shows up on uh, TV, because usually the last time we see him is usually on WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. But it needs to be more eventful. Like he just, he, the, only, the best thing he said was, "I'm back, taking souls and digging holes." And everybody assumed that when he said, "I'm back," that it was going to be on a contractual, regular basis, and it's not. No. It's uh, it was it's pretty much a one-off appearance. Mm -hmm. um, he, I'm assuming he may make an appearance at Ro uh, Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble, you mean Survivor Series? No, Royal Rumble. No. I don't think he's going to start with Survivor Series. He's got to. That's where Undertaker was born, was Survivor Series. It would be nice if he did, because that's, isn't this like his anniversary of it? Yeah, it I believe Like 30 so. years yeah. ago or something like that. But I know we'll see him again at WrestleMania, and God knows who he's going to fight then. <sighs> It'll probably be him and Brock Lesnar take two. <laughs> that seems to be the running theme yeah. with a lot of his Mania matches. Shawn Michaels, part one and two. Triple H, part one and two. Yeah. Bray, didn't he fight Bray? No. Yeah, he fought Bray Wyatt and CM Punk. So that we had a break from the you know sequels. Yeah. But it's okay because he's Undertaker. He's earned that right. He's not like The Rock who makes you know 
a one-off appearance and gets a title, never defends it, or, you know, um, who else has shown up and you know, occasionally Brock Lesnar you know, decides, oh, yeah, fuck the hell, I'll wrestle. Yeah. yeah, that's true. A lot of the guys in the back deserve a spot. Yeah. Well, you know, The Undertaker is, you know, the but the, Undertaker the locker room leader. Yeah. He is... He is basically second in command unofficially, right under Vince, Vince McMahon. Uh, even Triple H think, doesn't I, have the power honestly, of that Undertaker. Honestly, I think even more so because I think Vince is scared to shit yeah. out of the Undertaker. <laughs> See, he's scared shitless out of him. But Undertaker you got to think, Undertaker has been more loyal than anyone else. I mean, once he got into WWE, that's where he stayed. Yeah. He um, wasn't like wasn't he incident? wasn't like where Ric Flair going back and forth between WWE and WCW and wasn't there an incident where Shawn Michaels was supposed to drop a title to somebody or drop a match? He yeah. said no. Undertaker knocked him on his ass and said, "Yes, you are." Yeah, pretty. And much. he ended up doing it. Yeah. So. Yeah, and uh, Undertaker is as tough as he looks. Yeah, and anytime there were disputes in the uh, between wrestlers or anything, I love this. He, he'll walk in. And he it's just... he was the locker room judge. Yeah, they would hold locker room court. And he was the judge all the time. Uh, when Vince did the Montreal Scrooge job, the one person who bit his head off more than Brett did was Taker. Mm -hmm. Taker was very, he expressed his displeasure in that. Yeah. <laughs> it's morphin' time, right, Shannon? Yes, it is. So we'll be back with our recommended viewing of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Stay tuned. <laughs> 